because energy, we believe, is conserved. So if you bring a pendulum at a certain distance above the ground, like this, and you let it swing, when it comes back here, it is almost exactly at that same height. Cannot be higher. That would be a violation of the conservation of energy. But since the air drag is so small, there is almost no damping. And this whole idea is behind demolishing buildings. With a building demolishing, you take a huge mass, you lift it up over a distance H, and then you put your target, which is your house, or whatever it is, right at the bottom, when all this potential energy is being converted to kinetic energy, and so this object is hit with an enormous amount of energy, a high speed, and you demolish thereby the wall. This is a glass wall. So if I bring this object exactly at that glass wall, and if I'm clever enough to let it go with zero speed, it could not break that glass. But if my hands shake a little, and if I give it a little push, then, of course, it can come back, and it may want to go higher than this, and that would mean I know you guys. <laughs> Students love it when the glass breaks. <laughs> That's why they pay such a high tuition at MIT. <laughs> now comes an experiment which is emotionally the most difficult for me of this whole evening. I'm going to put my life on the line <laughs> to show you that I'm really a believer of the conservation of energy. And you will see how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the place of the glass <laughs> and I'm going to hold this object at my chin and I cannot move any further back, so there's no cheat here. I'm going to release it right from my chin here. You realize, as you have just seen, <laughs> that the slightest push, and this will be my last lecture, <laughs> and no book signing afterwards. <laughs> and I have to tell you something. I couldn't sleep all night. I'm going to close my eyes, I don't want to see it, <laughs> and I'm going to count down from three to zero. But if my hands shake a little, and if I give it a little push, then of course it can come back, and it may want to go higher than this. Three, two, one, zero. I normally, after this demonstration, tell the class, physics works and I'm still alive. <laughs>